In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to deal with match coverage from the bunch tight end offense. This also does a really good job against a lot of cover three match and cover four match. So I'm really excited to jump into today's video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And if you are looking to get better at the game, I would highly encourage for you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. I upload videos, new videos every single day that are designed to teach different components of the game whether it be on the offensive side of the ball or on the defensive side of the ball sometimes I do a little bit more conceptual teaching as well but you can get access to all the videos just by hitting the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen head over to the channel too there's probably some videos that you haven't seen yet that are really really good after you watch this video now really quickly um, if you haven't met me yet my name is Cody it's great to meet you one of the things I also wanted to let you know is if you have any questions throughout this video you can always text me. My cell phone number is in the top left hand corner of your screen and you might be questioning, you know, is that his real cell phone number? Is he trying to get a robot or whatever? It's actually my personal cell phone number. Um, literally my phone blows up all day long with texts from you guys. And so it's awesome to be able to connect with you in that way. And so if you're looking for a direct line right to me, that is the easiest way to get a hold of me is just to text me um, and just realize that sometimes, you know, I do get a lot of messages, but I do respond to everybody as soon as I possibly can. So if you haven't texted in yet, go ahead and do that. It's completely free. And I also have a free gift for you if you do text in, and that's my text message membership, which basically what it is, is it's exclusive videos for only people who text in. So only people that text me have access to this content or these videos. And every single week what I do is I sit down on Madden for about an hour and I share with you guys an advanced scheme, whether it be a strong close, uh, west coast, it could be uh, bunch tight end, it could be bunch, it could be trips to anything that uh, comes to mind. We talk about offense and defense both, so it would be big nickel. I have a lot of schemes already in there, and once you text in, you'll get all of them. You get access to all of them, and it also updates every single week, so it's a great way for you to be able to just kind of get some really high-level stuff. Okay guys, so I want to talk to you today about a very, very good cover four and cover three match beater out of the bunch tight end, and that's to play tight end corner. Tight end corner is one of the most secret and effective plays uh, from the bunch tight end in the entire game. It's the whole reason why I personally recommend utilizing the run heavy playbook um, uh, the reason that I recommend using the run heavy playbook if I was going to run uh, some type of bunch tight end. And as you can see right there, with one simple adjustment, you're going to be able to beat the cover four match defense over the top. So let me share with you what I did. Um, the cover four quarters defense is really, really good against spread offenses, in my opinion, or like just trips type of three by one spread, like wide trips or trips tight end or things like that but it's not super great all the time against some of the compression stuff that you can do because they kind of, um, the, the quarters don't really do what they're supposed to do. At least in my opinion, they don't. And so uh, here's how you'll set this up. It's relatively simple. All you're going to do is you're gonna call the play tight end corner. And as you see right here, what I like to do is I just like to simply streak the square receiver. Uh, so you're gonna do that by hitting triangle, square, and up on the left D-pad. And what you'll see here is against quarters coverage, it's an automatic one play touchdown every single time. As you see right there, quarters cannot hang with it. It's literally an automatic touchdown, okay? There's there's nothing they can do to stop it from quarters unless they put uh, some adjustments on their field. But we wanna make sure that if they put adjustments on their field, that we're gonna have success. And so what I like to do to set up the whole play, and this is if they're running a lot of match coverage, I personally like to smart route this post route uh, to to table on Austin and then I'm gonna streak both the tight end and the um, the square receiver so the circle receiver I'm gonna smart route him the square receiver I'm gonna streak him and the X receiver on this I'm gonna streak him and then the running back there's a lot of different things you could do with the running back, but for my bet, I think the best thing that you can do with the running back is simply put him on an option route. I find the option route to be the best bang for your buck, um, so we're going to put the R1 receiver on an option route. And from there, you'll see that your cover four bomb will still work. As you can see right here, if they run quarters, it's a one-play touchdown every single time. Now, 
Another defense that they will go to uh, once you start doing this is they will go to something like a cover three match style of defense. So uh, I want to share with you kind of what that looks like. This is Mike Blitz 3. It's kind of a cover three match style of defense, uh, zone blitz. And we're going to go to that play tight end corner again, and we're going to do the same adjustments that I just told you, um, and we're going to watch how this works. Now, if you watch how this works, this uh, square receiver on the left side will typically get over that cover three for a one play touchdown, just as you saw right there. The beauty of this is this works against cover three um, and it works against cover four. So it works against, it also works against zone drops. So let's say they put zone drops on their field. Um, that bomb will also work against cover three with zone drops. So if they put, you know, their purples in a 30, uh, their flats in, in, in a five or something like that, you're still going to have success. But as you'll see right here, the, and you, ideally you would be on the, on the right hash mark to run this. But as you see over the top, you know, big time gain against cover three. So one of the adjustments that they're going to do to this, if they're wanting to stop this, is they're probably going to put their left side safety, especially if they're um, if they're running quarters, they'll put their left side safety in a deep path. That's kind of the most popular thing that people like to do. The beauty of this is you're going to notice that it's that will help this, but it won't completely stop this play. So uh, if you watch this play, you're going to notice that this post route, if they do it like that, your post route is wide open to Tavon Austin. It is, it is wide, wide open. You're going to be able to hit that post route um, to him. The other thing that you're probably going to notice here is a lot of stuff is still open. Even though this, this might take away the one play touchdown, but if you take a look here, this corner route to Devontae Adams is covered, but the circle receiver is wide open. Now, the one thing I will say with the tight end, um, as far as this play goes, is the one back draw, I think, to the bunch tight end is the fact that their spacing is is not the best um, from, from this. Because you, unfortunately, what I want to be able to do is I wish that that post route came from the triangle receiver or something, or the tight end was a little bit more outside, you know, just different things like that. That would definitely help this play even more than it already is a successful play. But if you watch this now, I mean, you'll see here, if I pass lead this, this deep streak up into the inside, there is a small window where I can still hit that square receiver, even if they do that. And the beauty of this is there's two specific adjustments that people will do out of cover four quarters. The first one is they will inside third, the, the, the bunch side quarter, um, the, the bunch side inside quarter. The beauty of this play right here is that probably won't work for them. So you see here inside third, if I just pass lead this to the left, you see it does have a pretty good shot, shot at getting over the top of that coverage. Now, if they, if they deep half, and this is where I come back to say, you know, I wish, I just wish that, that was, I wish that the bunch, I don't even know how it would work, but I just wish that the tight end wasn't so inside. I wish it was like bunch tight end flex and the tight end was like a slot. You know what I mean? Um, that would be really, really good uh, for this because on this in particular play, sometimes the tight end will basically bring the safeties into the zone, but you'll see like right here, I can kind of, again, you see that? That's the one issue with it. Now, um, one little thing that you can do to solve it um, is you can basically take, and this this would have to be a very specific adjustment. So you would definitely need to know, okay, I know that they're running uh, quarters, right? I know that's what they're running, and I know that they're putting a deep half over there, and I'm trying to I'm trying to basically you know beat it for a one play touchdown. If you put the tight end on a curl. Okay, and then you take the running back and you put him on a wheel. That will change how this defense works. So uh, it's a very specific adjustment. But if you watch here, the inside quarter is now not going to go guard him. He's going to go guard the post, and you can inside pass lead that all day to about a scantling right up, right up the seam. Um, that's the one. You know, that's 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 kind of the you know the secret thing that you could do um, that will help this. One last thing I did want to give you um, out of tight end corner. Let's say that you streak the uh, slot and then you take Vada Scantling and you put him on a smart routed out route. This is also another thing that you can do against that specific coverage. Um, you see pass lead inside, you kind of hit that. Um, it doesn't always work, but that is something that you could try. 
But all in all, guys, this tight end corner play is a really, really good play uh, from this for match coverage in particularly, especially for cover three. Um, it glitches, what I like about it is it does such a good job against the quarter zones, but it also does a really good job against outside third type of zones to be able to beat it, both of those for one play scores. And so it really puts your defense in a dilemma because they, you know, even if they, you know, and, and the other thing that real quick about it is let's say that they man him up, right? That would be what I would do if I was the defensive player. I would man him up out of a match coverage setting. The problem is you can't just man him up, okay? Um, because if they do something like this combination right here, this is a combination you can do in combination. And as you'll see, now the triangle receiver uh, will typically get over. And of course, I got thrown a sack, but the triangle receiver will typically get over the quarters coverage uh, in that situation. So that is something also that you can you can easily use to, to manipulate the coverages. But bottom line is tight end corner is a phenomenal play for cover three and for cover four. If they're running a lot of that stuff on you, this is something that you can go to that is really, really hard to, I mean, it's just really hard to stop out of this, uh, out of this, this offense. I mean, there's a lot of really good pieces to this puzzle. Um, the post route will get over every zone drop in the game. Literally, they can't run a zone drop on it. Um, they have to run some type of cross man or, you know, honestly get a little lucky. Um, you know, if they, if they run, you know, if they run the right defense uh, at the right time here kind of thing. But as you can see, I mean, this, there's just so much open with this play, um, especially if you can get good at pass leading that circle receiver uh, to the right to get him underneath the cover for drop. But anyways, that's a little bit about the bunch tight end offense. If you want to get the full ebook that literally breaks down everything that you need to know about this offense, that is in the description. It has a full depth chart. It has a game film study. It has analysis over all the plays, everything that you need to dominate offensively. That is available to you in the description if you're looking to get better on the offensive side of the ball. One last thing I did want to share with you is maybe you're still on the fence about buying an ebook, and I can 100% understand where you're coming from. That's why we basically provide a free one hour sample video that will literally um, kind of give you the overview of the offense and you can get that free preview just by texting into my uh, text membership. All you gotta do is just text me. My number is 812. 216-3644 it's also in the description but just take a second pull out your phone text me and say hey cody i'd like to get the bunch tight end sample ebook and then once i see that message i will send you the link personally uh, to be able to check that out so you'll never receive a text message from anybody that's not me uh, through that it literally is my personal cell phone number that i'm giving out um, just because i want to be able to connect with you guys because at the end of the day we're all real people across the screen um, and so just trying to bridge that gap but thanks for your time i really appreciate it and if you guys want to come hang out on stream i'll be streaming madden tonight at 10 p.m eastern time right here on my youtube channel thanks for your time and i will see you guys later tonight